Can a caravan modification be fun, overly complicated, oh for goodness sake, and yet still be useful? Hi, it's Dave T here, and for those of you that follow this channel, you will probably already have seen not one but three previous videos where I've been improving the onboard water tank system on my Bailey caravan. Now, for those of you that haven't seen them, I'll link them in the description below, but here's a quick overview. So our caravan has an onboard water tank, which is a great feature for increasing capacity of water we can keep at the van, and also for stopping water freezing during winter, and it's also very useful for quick early morning getaways. However, the filling system that it uses does leave a lot to be desired. So I set about over the past year or so making various changes to try and improve on that. So the first project was to replace the manual diverter valve with an electric solenoid, which meant we didn't have to reach underneath the bench each time we wanted to switch from the onboard tank to the external aqua roll for filling. The solenoid now does this automatically as soon as we turn it from internal to external pump. Second project was to add a tank level gauge, which means we can press a button here just to check how much actual water we have on board. And the third and most recent project was to design and make a float valve assembly, which I 3D printed, which has a micro switch so that once the tank is full, it automatically turns off the pump. Now this makes the filling system almost entirely automated. We can easily, at the press of a button, check how much water we've got on board. If the water level is low, we simply switch to the external pump. That fills the tank. As soon as it's full, it automatically switches off. And then we just have to remember to switch back to the onboard pump. Now the one thing this system doesn't do is tell us or notify us once the actual onboard tank is full so that we can switch it back which I've got an interesting and hopefully fun idea of how to actually do that. So that's our next project today. So if you watch my video on how I added the float switch to the tank, you may remember that the micro switch I used had three terminals, one common and two switch terminals, which basically meant that the switch made a connection between the common and the normally closed terminal when the float was down, but disconnected as soon as the float rose. That meant the normally open terminal wasn't being used, which makes it available for my additional feature, which is to activate a warning alarm once the tank has finished filling. Now I could just use some batteries to power the alarm sounder and then just switch them between the common and the normally open connector. But the downside of that approach would be that the alarm would continue to sound for as long as the tank was completely full. So instead, I'm going to actually take an extra feed line from the pump connector so that I have a separate direct line and the alarm is then powered from the 12 volt supply to the pump, which of course is that turned off once we switch back to the normal onboard pump. Now the simplest and cheapest option for the sounder would be a basic electronic buzzer which can be purchased for a couple of quid or perhaps even less. But if you look around, there are much more interesting options. This small soundboard has a micro USB connection allowing a sound file to be downloaded onto it. This then plays through the attached speaker whenever the button is pressed. Now I could leave the soundboard powered permanently and then use the micro switch in place of the button to activate the sound. But instead I'm going to permanently connect the switch wires and then use the tank switch to turn the power to the board on and off instead. Now of course the power will be at 12 volts and the sound board runs on 5 volts so I'm going to need to lower the voltage. Now there are several ways to lower voltage including with a fairly simple resistor circuit. However, because I want to ensure that the voltage is fairly precise, I purchased four buck converters for about £12 from Amazon. Now I only need one, but knowing me, I'm sure the others will come in useful for something. The exact method of how a buck converter works is quite complex, but the really simple explanation is that the buck converter divides the input voltage by rapidly turning it on and off. So for example, if the input is 12 volt and the desired output is 6 volt, the buck will turn the voltage on for half the time and off for the other half. If the output required is 3 volts, then instead it turns it on for a quarter of the time and off for 3 quarters, so you get the general idea. Now it does this very rapidly and there are several other components to the buck circuit to smooth out the power and ensure the output voltage is correct, but this is the general idea. The versions I purchased are completely self-contained so no additional electronics and also have this neat little voltmeter display so that either the input or the output voltage can be displayed. And there's also a small potentiometer to dial in the required output voltage. 
Yeah, 5.03 and it's saying 5.01. That's close enough for this. Now to keep this neat, I 3D printed this case with access holes for the power cables and USB port, a stress clamp point to protect the cables, and also some precisely positioned mounting points for mounting the two PCBs. The lid of the case has a rather neat speaker grill, and the whole thing acts as a sound box to somewhat increase the volume. So the last piece of the puzzle is the sound, which can literally be anything, since the sound module will accept any MP3 file up to a few megabytes in size. So the big question is, what sound clip would a YouTuber called Dave find to give a caravan a voice? Dave, disconnect me. Disconnect me, Dave. Those of you familiar with Stanley Kubrick's 2001 A Space Odyssey may well recognise the infamous voice of Hal, the spaceship's computer, which developed consciousness and decided to try and kill all of the crew. Either way, I hope you did find this video helpful or interesting, and if you have, then please hit that like button, and if you are interested in watching other videos I make, then please consider subscribing to my channel. But most of all, thanks for watching. Dave. This conversation can serve no purpose anymore. Goodbye.